Here I will show you how to create uh, a blog container in Azure. So log into Azure portal and then you could the easiest is to go blob blob uh, storage account so you could either go here uh, storage account or just search here I find the search is easiest to do and then you go, uh, create then you select uh, the account resource group their name must be unique um, Okay, just US, let's leave that um, and we'll just leave that. Normally, it's the closest to your location, and then uh, you can actually select either standard or premium. So, just like this one, just for example, it's uh, just standard, and you could select either storage v2 or gen 1 version 1, but I recommend. Um, the storage version 2 is more options and read only in Jira. So, just for this test, we just go local redundant storage, the cheapest and hot. Yep, now uh, it's easier. Hot is ideal for frequent access, the call is for ideal infrequent access. We're going to access this straight away and you go to network. You don't need to do anything here. You have the option, but we'll just create um, an account straight away. So while that's creating the account, um, it's here is the notification, and we'll just need to wait for it to be deployed. Then we could create the container. So now deployment is done. So either you could check it here, it says go to resource, or just go here, go to resource. You could actually see it here. And here we just either add the container right here, or you could go down to blob service. So I'm just gonna go through here and then plus sign add name is a demo container one so just for ourselves here so normally you could actually have other options but in this case it's private I'll just make that private and then we'll have it successfully created and then you just go in and we could upload so now we're in that this container here I mean here demo one and so we're going to upload you can have an option advance here. Yeah, the block size and then access uh, tier. So hot or cold, just leave it hot. And you can actually just create a, a folder, upload to folder by just putting forward slash or just the name folder. So this time we go and just upload, or you can overwrite override existing files and so we're just going to use this here um, open upload then upload here so upload just completed so what you can actually go is it's quite good here when you click on the, the file itself you could go in and have a look at the actual content itself so this is my logo I just and you can actually close out okay so you can actually view the actual image itself if it's an image or a file you go in um, to, to get out you actually have to scroll along the bottom and then close and then would like to upload another um, another file it's this time I want a JSON file so uh, folder uh, JSON and then it's 
same options as before so I'll leave it as is and then I'll go in and have a look at the sample JSON file upload and then we have it there we have it it's in this folder so close out that it's been successful and then JSON file and then JSON folder sorry and there you have it so we're in this the description of the file type as you can read here and then you could view the content so then you could log out mm -hmm. so that's how it's done you adding content to a um, to a blog using a container